viewers and dear friends of, of Guarding the Heart blog. It's a pleasure to be able to um, address you through this video. Um, uh, like I promised, uh, I would try to record a video on the series Revival. And um, so the, that way those people who love to watch a video instead of reading will also be blessed. Otherwise, kindly visit our blog, shaijumatthew.com slash blog, and um, you will find this whole series um, on the blog itself. And um, if you can subscribe to our blog, we will also be sending you the PDF of the entire series so you can have it as a collection. You can have it um, to give it to somebody to research. Uh, it will be a blessing. Um, you see, the, series, the first chapter that we are focusing on um, the revival is what's the big deal of revival? Or in other words, why revival? What's the, what's the commotion? Uh, revival is a word that that many people uh, have grown numb to it because they've heard it so often, so much, so many times that they've um, they've stopped paying attention to it. Now, when people say revival, you've heard it so many times that you, it doesn't register anymore. There are other people who've seen revival being so abused that they alienate themselves from that. Uh, there was this conference that uh, we hosted in Canada um, and, and the Holy Spirit put in my heart to call these conferences simply the Revive Conferences. Uh, we called it in Canada, we called it Revive Canada. Um, and, and I remember in the beginning many people thought that that word may not be the right word because there will be many people that wouldn't want to come to these conferences because the word revival is in it and they might think that this is another setup, another um, uh, the, uh, abuse of, of the gifts and, and the work of God. And I'm, I'm very sad that, uh, that there has been abuse um, of the word revival and, and, and people misusing it for their own purposes and to build their own kingdom. But the fact that there is duplicates does not mean that the original is absent. There is always an original. There is always, uh, in fact, you will never see a fake three dollar note because a three dollar note um, it does not exist. But you will always see the fake of the original and the fact that you see the fake is the fact that you will, that the original exists. And um, that, that also, also means that we cannot be passive about it. We need to know, we need to discover, we need to find out um, if, if, if there is the original, what is it for me? Am I supposed to know about it? Am I, do I just live my life like the way I live right now? Or should I be concerned that there are, or, 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 or pursue something that God has in store for me? Is there a greatness that is hidden inside me that I need to, I need to tap into? Is something that we need to consider. Here's what happened. With the fall of Adam, uh, his disobedience caused us to be disconnected with God. That disconnection um, went on with, with the human race and, and it, from time to time God would walk with one man or one woman or one individual and, and from time to time you see that God would walk with Enoch, God would walk with Noah, Abraham, God would walk with Elijah, and the prophets, God would speak to one individual but, but the, it wasn't something that everybody experienced. When Jesus came on earth what Jesus wants to do is restore what Adam lost. In other words, the Lord wanted to restore the fellowship, the communion, the intimacy, the glory that Adam carried. There are certain parts of what Adam lost will be restored uh, in the second coming of Christ where we will have new body and it will no more age and all that. But the spiritual realm of it. Um, and not the physical part of it, the spiritual part of it is where God wants to restore the intimacy. God wants to restore our fellowship. Now, you, you, you know how Jesus, uh, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, they would walk down to the garden. They would, they would, they would, Adam would hear the footsteps every evening to have fellowship with him. They had such close intimacy. What God wants to restore with us is that same fellowship, is the same intimacy. The Lord wants to release that glory, 
the, in the same portion that God released with Adam, he wants to visit us. He wants that glory to dwell with us. He wants us to dwell with God just the way Adam and Eve walked with God. That is the purpose of revival. That is the beauty of revival. With revival, God visits his children. Heaven kisses the earth. With revival, the kingdom of God comes on earth. The reign of the king. God completely takes over. The, the king begins to reign. When the king begins to reign, the will of the king begins to take over. That is the reason why our churches, our cities, our nations are filled with crime, immorality. And it, it, it's the downward spiral. This is the reason why we need God today more than any other day. It's simple yet profound that God wants to walk with us. Think about it for a minute. That the Lord wants to release such glory in the presence of God with you. He wants to share his secrets with you. He wants to work in partnership with you. He wants to share his heart with you. He wants to share his projects with you, his plans, his purposes for this world, for your city, for your nation, for your church. He wants to share it with you. And he wants to hold your hands and walk in partnership to carry the purposes of God on earth. That is what, my friends, we want to encourage you to come and partner with this series to understand that, yes, that is a big deal. That is a big deal, that God wants to partner with us, that God wants to walk with us, to see miracle signs and wonders, to see the kingdom of God come on earth. Yes, revival is a big deal. So I want to encourage you to subscribe to our videos and our blog so that you can join us on this journey and, and continue receiving these updates so that we can, we can go deeper and study what God has in store for us. I feel the precious presence of the Holy Spirit right now as I just began to say this, I, I tell you, just as we, as I mentioned, that God wants to work with us, partner with us in His, for His purposes. I felt the intense presence of the Holy Spirit just come into this room right now. And I want to just encourage you right now, wherever you are, just please connect with me by faith. Just, uh, just put your hands on, on your screen if you can. And just let us pray together, precious Jesus. No man can bring revival, God. Unless you draw us to you, we can never draw near to you. Thank you for the presence of God that was just released on this video. We just ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, as your dear child watches this video, that you would begin to stir their heart with a new desire for a revival in their life for a revival in their church, for a revival in the city, for a revival in their nation. Come Holy Spirit, come sweet Holy Spirit. Come Lord, please touch this dear daughter. Please touch this dear son. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever distractions you're going through, be canceled. Whatever the enemy has been working in your life, be canceled. In the mighty name of Jesus, I. Let there be a God discipline that will come upon you right now. Let there be a God clarity that will come upon you right now. You will know the heart of God. You will know the purposes of God. You will walk in the purposes that you were created. The greatness hidden inside you. The history that is shut inside you will come forth, will conceive, will give birth in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that has been holding you down from walking with God, break in Jesus' mighty name. Break in Jesus' mighty name. I release the presence of God into your room right now. I release the presence of God into, in the mighty name of Jesus. Enjoy the presence of God. Enjoy fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now I see why we should do all the more take efforts to do videos with the blog because there's a lot more, it's a lot more personal, a lot more quicker. And, uh, and it's an opportunity for me to stand in agreement and pray with you, to just for you to get to know us. Thank you. God bless.